honestly and if you're new I hope you enjoyed today's video as well so today's video is one I am very excited to do I have been waiting to do a review on this particular product since it was announced that it was coming out and that product is the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary eyeshadow palette this palette has been the talk of Instagram and YouTube lately because it is brand new the shades are supposed to be super blendable. They were hand-picked by Kat Von D. There are 16 different shades, and each palette is about 0.06 ounce or 1.7 grams of product. And each shade is named after one of her beauty muses. So there are 16 shades, 5 glitters, and 11 mattes. So we are going to open this right now. It is still in the package. I haven't even looked at it. And it has her little trademark stars right there. And the inside little protective cardboard. I think this was put in here to help it avoid from getting crushed. And so that none of the shadows would shatter while shipping. Ooh, and it is a very, very pretty gold packaging. Very shiny, sleek. It is not very big at all. It is a good little compact palette. And on the front, it has custom art from Kat Von D that she did specifically for this eyeshadow palette. And then those are the shades. Aren't those pretty? I am loving this like collection of shades. But for this palette in particular, I think the colors that she chose are very nice. It's not exactly a rainbow palette, but it is pretty close. There are warm and cool tones together. That is very nice. You don't normally see that a lot in eyeshadow palettes. If you don't know, this eyeshadow palette is $52. Right now, it is sold out on Sephora, and I'm not sure if they're going to bring it back. I got this during the second run of the palette because I missed out on the first run, and my friend Lady Borgia messaged me, and she was like, Oh my god, Jen, it's back in stock. Go! So I, I ordered it as soon as it was back in stock on the second run. Hopefully they bring it back for a third run. This eyeshadow palette was released along with a whole set for the 10 year anniversary. There is a liquid liner with the gold casing for $20, a highlighter with 20, that is 30. There are a set of makeup brushes that are 125 and they are also gold. There is a lipstick that is 19 and there's a huge train case that runs at $150 and that is covered in her own custom design. I will insert a picture of it right here. It is really pretty, but a lot of the reviews I'm reading online are saying that it's kind of falling apart and it was made very cheaply. So I'm really not upset that I didn't get it. <laughs> and another thing, if you don't already know, which you should, Kat Von D, all her products are vegan friendly and cruelty free. And that's all right here vegan on the back of the case I don't see the leaping bunny but I think the fact that it's cruelty free that it's vegan means it is completely animal free so, so there is one thing I want to mention about this palette and it's something that a lot of brands do that really kind of bug me you see on the back the names for all the shadows but when you open it up the colors are kind of like so Chad is back here but up front, Chad is right here. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. I really wish that companies would kind of just copy the palette design on the back and be like Chad, Leafier, Caroline, etc. Except for it being like Chad, Leafier, Caroline, la la, blah blah blah, you know? I really wish companies would start doing that to make it more easier when you're going back and forth so you're not like having to go like that to get the names. I really miss palettes that have the names on the actual palette. That was very helpful and I don't really understand why companies stopped doing that. And I get it makes the palette look more sleek. From a personal point of view, I personally think it was a lot easier, especially when doing tutorials, to have the names right here underneath the shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this palette and with my swatch, I'm also going to insert the brand swatch right next to it for comparison because we all know sometimes 
they put a little bit of extra oomph into the photography for their swatches so I want to make sure that this swatch is as true to color as possible. So let's go ahead and do that swatch. So here we have Chad Leafier and Caroline Leafier is a really pretty like shimmery green. I don't know if you can really see that in the swatch. I do see like just by the swatch with my finger the Chad looks very very chalky. Like it's going to take a lot to build it up and Caroline also looks like it's going to be one that you need to build up. So next we have Lala, Sarah, and Sylvia. These ones honestly took about two to three swatches to get them to show up, but they would probably rate a very good transition or crease colors, but I couldn't see you using them as a full shade color just because of how pale they are. Only reason why Lala looks so dark up there is because my hand was still a little wet from the makeup wipe. So this is Kelly, Egypt, and Catherine too. Egypt honestly took one swatch to get it that bright. And Kelly and Catherine took at least two. I'm loving how Egypt is, that really pretty, pretty gold. But I really, really like that duochrome look from Kelly. So next is Gina. Nancy and Ashley. This is a very pretty collection of orange yellow shades. They have just enough pigment to be able to build them up without being bright in your face, which I really like. And I really like that you have the option of a warm toned orange and a cool toned orange. Okay, hey, this is the last four shades. Alexandra, Malice, Melanie, and Adele. The shade Alexandra is another duochrome looking shade where depending on how the light is looking, it looks slightly like pinkish. Malice is a really pretty red and it's really hard to find good red shadows. Melanie did not want to come out to party. She took a few swatches to even get a hint of a color. So that would be a good setting powder to put down before you put your shadows. And Adele is a, the generic black brown shade that every palette has. So going off the swatches, there are definitely some shades like Melanie, Lala, Sarah that are kind of just like there to be a transition shade. It's not bright enough to stand by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do a look tutorial with this palette to test to see how these shades look. So I'm going to bring you guys in closer and we're going to go ahead and get in and play with this palette and see how the colors work. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Melanie to do a base. This palette has a mirror so I don't have to have my big old clunky mirror up here. So now I'm going to go in with Nina and start building my crease. So it's not very bright. I have to keep adding more on there to build it up. But once you build it up, it is very, very pretty. So I don't usually do looks this bright, so I'm a little worried about how it'll turn out. But. It's okay. I'm gonna go in with Lafar Leifer. I'm not really sure how to pronounce her husband's name, but it's this shade right here. And I'm just going to put a little bit in my crease and blend it up. Oh, Lord, pray for me. Oh, I put blue. How do I have? How did I get blue on my lid? We're going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'm trying not to blend it up into the yellow because I want the yellow to be nice and bright. I'm going to go in with Chad, which is this really pretty dark blue. And I'm going to go halfway. 
And we're gonna blend these together. I'm going back in with Leafer just to try to blend those colors together. It's looking really good. I like how this looks so far. I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my blender brush. And this time I'm going to pick up some of the shade Ashley, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put that into my brow bone to blend into the yellow. I'm going to go in with Carolyn which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna darken my outer corner with it. And with this, I'm going to take, with this I'm gonna take an angled brush and I'm going to build it up. And then I'm gonna go in with my flat Coastal Scents brush with Carolyn still and just kind of fill in where the brush itself didn't quite get the job done. So now I'm going to attempt to do this on the other eye. This always happens. I can never get my other eye to freaking match. Okay. Close enough, right? Yeah, I realize this looks messy as hell. <laughs> so I'm just going to be using my makeup wipe or makeup towel to try to wipe this away without wiping away my foundation. So now I'm going to go in to try to brighten up my eyes a little bit. I am going to go in with Alexandria, which is really pretty pink right here. And I'm going to put that on the lid. I really, really hope that this looks good. For this, I'm going to use this flat brush. I'm not really sure the brand of this brush anymore because it's faded off. So I'm going to go in with Alexandria and fill in where the gap is. Fingers crossed that it looks good. What do you know? It looks good. So I'm putting this on and it's glittery. But when I try to like work it in so it'll stay, the glitter is falling off. I should have went in with a glitter glue. So I'm an idiot. Didn't think about using glitter glue. Obviously, it's a glitter. I should have thought to use that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Let's try that again. So I'm going in with Carolina now and I'm just gonna pat it right where I put that glitter glue. Much better, there she is. There you go, you just got a cut crease without any concealer. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye, but first, this right here is bugging me. I'm gonna go in with a thin, flat brush, and then I'm gonna take Caroline on this flat brush from Too Faced. This is their teddy bear hair, and we're gonna put that in there. Right in that corner. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on Oh, this eye. Okay, so I am loving how this looks so far. They are very bright colors. They're blending beautifully. I'm getting bugged with how uneven this looks. So I'm going in with the flat Coastal Scents brush and I'm going to try to even up this eye. Voila, I'm loving this look. It is very pretty, bold, and bright. It is just what I wanted with these shadows. I'm just blending these out a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna go in with Leafier on the bottom line, and we're just gonna basically copy the same thing that we did up top.
Give me a minute. I'm not liking how this look came out. I'm gonna fix a few things. Okay, so I was not a fan of those whatever was going on. I don't know what it was. I was just not digging it. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and my liner and I will be right back. Okay, so I finished my eyeshadow and I kind of had an idea to play with my lips. So I'm going to do something a little different for me. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this liquid lipstick. This is the NYX Liquid Suede, and the color is LSCL17. It's like this really pretty blue, and I've never worn it, but I got an idea. There is a reason why I don't film lipstick swatches because I am messy as hell. Okay, so now that that's dried, I'm going to go in with Lithia, this one right here, and I'm going to put that over my lid and see if that looks good. Okay, I am so happy I did that because it looks so pretty. So I'm going to take Alexandria, the color I put right here, and I'm just going to put a little bit right here. Just kind of add a little bit more sheen. Okay, so I didn't wipe my face yet because I wanted you guys to try to see the fallout from this shadow because there is a little bit of fallout unfortunately mainly like on my nose there is definitely green cast to it from using the left ear and down here hopefully I can cover it up okay so I'm loving how the lips came out too with the eyeshadow it is really brings the look all together so all together with this eyeshadow palette I'm loving this palette I was kind of worried because of the color tones because I'm not usually a bright eyeshadow person but doing this look I'm loving the brightness the $52, honestly, I feel like it is a good price for the quality of shadows that you get. That is more than what I would normally spend on an eyeshadow palette, but I really, really like how this looks. I'm hoping this the look I created is coming through to you guys through the camera to show you just how bright and fun it is, because I am like, I keep looking at myself in the mirror right now because it is so freaking gorgeous. Like the greens and the blue look really good with the yellow. It blended really nicely. And then that 
pink kind of shimmer up top just looks so pretty and even the lips like everything's matching my hair is matching the only thing not matching is my shirt because it's bright red <laughs> I really hope you guys like this look so I think I'm gonna give this eyeshadow palette a 9 out of 10 because I feel like the color range is very nice there are colors in here for any skin tone really so I would definitely suggest this palette if it were to come back in stock I would totally tell everybody to go and get one I feel like this is a good staple for any makeup collection because it has shades you can use to create really any look if you were going for a neutral eyeshadow look you could definitely use Nancy and Adele and Sylvia to create a very subtle natural look or if you want something big and bold you have Leafier, you have Chad, Kelly, and even Ashley would be perfect for a bright, bold look like what I did. I feel like the glimmer or the shimmery shades did not hold up by themselves, but with a glitter glue, they really, really do cling to that and stay very bright and pretty. Um, my one complaint with this, sh this shadow collection is I wish there was a brighter like neon -y looking green to match with how neon the yellow and orange are in this palette but I feel like left ear does kind of do the job that it needs to it's just not I just wish there was a neon matte shade to match there is this really hunter green color called Lala but when you swatch it, it doesn't really show up like you saw on my swatches I did before. I just realized I forgot to do my inner corner. So, I'm going to take the shimmery purple called Catherine 2. This shade right here. And we're just going to pop her in my inner corner. Anyways. <laughs> so yes, I would suggest this palette to anyone who wants a palette that has a full range of shades. As you saw, they do blend very nicely. They are a very creamy blend. I know I, I personally get sick of hearing people calling eyeshadows buttery and creamy, but it's really hard to think of a better word for how they feel because they're very soft. They're very pigmented, the majority of them. But they are a few shadows that don't wanna to come to the party, so to speak, because they're not too bright, as you saw on my swatches, but those are good crease shades. And I'm not just sitting here trying to talk up this brand because I love Kat Von D. I'm honestly 100% sincere when I say it. this palette is a full range palette. I really feel like it could be good for anybody regardless of what type of look you're trying to achieve. So I really, really think this is a good palette. I'm like, kudos to Kat Von D. Congratulations on 10 years. That is huge. I remember watching Kat Von D on like Miami Ink back in the day before she ever even had a makeup brand when she was just a tattoo artist. So I have been following her career from back in the day from when I was a kid. So it's really cool seeing someone who started from like literally with nothing to do with makeup whatsoever, just having that artistic drive that she has, build up this makeup empire that she has. It's seriously impressive and it gives me hope that one day maybe I could do the same. So yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed my review. You hope you enjoyed my tutorial as well. If you have any questions or comments about the eyeshadow palette, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit my bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I upload every Wednesday and Friday. I go live at 8 p.m. on Fridays to hang out give some beauty tips and advice, and just chat with my amazing subscribers and friends. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your continuous support. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Love you. Bye. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of